Hey guys, welcome to Brave Voices. This is President Myrna Fauzi. And this is Vice President Rowan Albedri. And today we're here with Mrs. St. John and Mrs. Daglish. And today we have questions for them about AVID. <clears throat> so the first question is, what is AVID about? Well, AVID stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination. And AVID is a program designed to help students be prepared for college. After they graduate high school um, and go on to a four-year college, we in the class give them skills to help them not only be successful in graduating high school, but make it through college and get that four-year degree. So some of the things we do in AVID is have college tutors and the college tutors help with students. We put them in groups and it helps them with their different courses. Uh, we also focus on organization um, with planners and binder checks. Okay, so the second question is, when did you guys start teaching AVID? I started in 2004 because I had a set of ninth graders that I really, really loved. Mm -hmm. And then I wondered, how can I get to work with them again? And so I became an avid teacher and then I had them 10th, 11th and 12th grade. Was it already a thing or like did you start it? Oh, AVID started here in San Diego in 1983 at oh. Claremont High School and El Cajon Valley brought AVID to their campus in 1989. Oh, okay. And this is my eighth year of AVID. Okay. So the third question is, how many field trips are in AVID per year? Well, in the 10th grade, we typically do one to UCLA, but sometimes they get lucky and get a second one. Mm -hmm. It depend, A lot of it depends on the budget and how much fundraising they do. The junior year, we're glad that this year we had it back, was a three-day overnight trip. to We visited eight colleges, including USC, University of Redlands, and typically when we do our field trips, we try to get alumni, people that graduated from El Cajon Valley, to meet us on our field trips, talk about it, because we feel like if kids see students that sat in the same seats that they sat at mm -hmm. when they were in high school, and here they are on a campus like USC, then it was like, wow, if they could do it, so can I. Mm -hmm. So the fourth question is, when can people join AVID? <clears throat> Well, right now, AVID starts in 10th grade, although we're trying to really um, create a 9th grade class by going to the 8th graders and promoting it. Um, you can join in 11th grade, but you have missed a couple things. It is very hard to join senior year because of all the stuff we're doing junior year, but not impossible. Right, and AVID Center is a, is a nonprofit in San Diego that offers a lot of scholarships and typically they'll give scholarships to AVID students but one of the requirements is that they're in AVID at least three years in a row mm -hmm. so we want them to be in 10th 11th and 12th but we are we worked really hard this year so we're hoping when we come to campus in the fall you'll see a ninth grade AVID and or an AVID in every single grade ninth 10th 11th 12th okay um so the fifth question is is it a pathway and how many years do you have to take it well, it's not officially a pathway like you hear the pathways, the CTE pathways. It is an elective program, mm -hmm. and we want the students to be in it all four years or all three years that they commit. Every once in a while, there's a couple of kids that it doesn't fit their schedule, and so they'll, we'll take them in 11th grade. Okay. Um, does it give uh, students college credit? No, you don't get college credit for it, but you do get ready for college. It gives you elective credits to graduate high school. You have to have mm -hmm. take 11 classes that are electives, like 11 semesters. And so that would take, you know, six to eight of your semesters to fill that requirement to get your high school diploma. And also when we graduate, graduate at graduation, you get an extra cord. So when you walk down, you'll people will see, you know, your graduation gown, and then they have that extra blue and gold cord that represents AVID. And we pick blue and gold because those are the colors for the UC system. Okay. So the seventh question is, are you guys the only teachers that are teaching AVID right now? No, we have uh, Miss Michelson. Miss Miller is not doing it this year, but typically she's an avid teacher. And who am I missing? Mrs. Wright. Oh, Mrs. Yeah, Wright. Mrs. Wright currently has the 10th graders. And then Miss Daglish and I have the 11th graders. And then if our program expands, there could be other teachers on our campus that pick up a section. And, would, you know, in the past, like Mr. Namimatsu was an avid teacher. We've had um, a couple teachers retire. So, yeah, okay. there's a lot of teachers on our campus that were avid tutors and avid teachers, maybe even at other schools. Okay. So, so what's the hardest thing about avid, like for teachers and for students, do you guys think? 
Well, we just asked a couple of students and one of the things they said was these things called a UC prompt. It's basically stuff that they're writing in their junior year, but it's really gonna help them out in their senior year when they go and apply to uh, uh, campuses. Yeah, the UC schools, there's nine of them, require four essays to turn in with your application. And so by being an AVID, we get a head start and we get your essays edited. We help each other um, so that when you go into 12th grade and you start filling out your college applications, it's not as stressful because we've taken a lot of that stress by doing a little bit at a time in the previous years. Um, the hardest thing for students... That was students. Oh, that was students? For me, I honestly don't feel like there's anything that hard that's hard about teaching AVID. It's my favorite class of the day to teach, and I love it. And Yeah, the, the teachers that teach AVID will start with them as 10th graders or 9th graders and then move up with them, and then we'll have them in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. Mm -hmm. And so you really develop a relationship, a bond. Um, their senior year, we're the teachers that are writing like, 30 and 40 letters of recommendations <laughs> because we've built that relationship with students. And that's one important thing for um, being good in society is to build those connections and build those relationships. And AVID is really one avenue on this campus that helps you build that relationship to help you succeed beyond high school. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Thank you for being with us today.